The following program is brought to you by the Lion Ball Library. Oh here, oh here, oh here, oh here. Oh here, here, here. Hey, here I am. Hi, it's Maddie time. Hi kids, guess what? It's puppet time. Bear s'mores on. Well, it's that time of year again. I'm going to take a long winter's nap and wake up just in time for spring. For when he wakes up in the spring, surely he won't notice if we use some of it. Oh, it needs more pepper. I love pepper and soup. No, Mouse, what are you doing? Don't use so much pepper. Uh, yeah, you, you're gonna make us. That's you! That's you! That's you! That's you! What's that smell? Why, it's... Uh, uh, oh no, we woke up the bear! What are you doing in here? You snuck into my nice cozy cave. Oh, you've been partying and eating while I was sleeping. You're eating popcorn and potato chips and soup. Bear, we can explain. You've been having such fun, and and I, 
I didn't even get invited. <laughs> Look, we're sorry. We didn't want to wake you up. Here, we can pop you some more popcorn, and we've still got potato chips. And the soup's just about ready to eat. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dig in. <laughs> Hey, you know what the perfect thing for a day as cold as today is? Fred. Oh, hi! I'm having a lot of fun with the new computers here at the library. Plus, I'm learning at the same time. It's all part of the AWE Early Literacy Station that helps build skills in literacy, math, science, history, geography, and more. Not to mention, learning how to use a computer is a very important skill to have. The new computers have what's called a touch screen. Cool! So come by Linebaugh and check out the new computers in the children's department. It's fun! It's craft time. <laughs> Hello, today we're going to be making a wonderful bird feeder that you can enjoy any time of year. The ingredients you will need are three quarters a cup of flour, a half a cup of water, one envelope of unflavored gelatin, three tablespoons of corn syrup, four cups of bird seed. In addition, you will need a cookie sheet, parchment or wax paper, cooking spray, a spoon, cookie cutters, a straw, and ribbon. And you also need a large mixing bowl. The first step to making this bird feeder is mixing all of the ingredients together. You're going to mix your flour first. Next, you'll mix your water in. Next, you'll mix in your unflavored gelatin. The next thing you'll need is your corn syrup. I've already pre-measured mine. And finally, you'll mix in your bird seed. You can use any bird seed that you'd like. I used a local bird seed for this project. Then you want to mix all of the ingredients together. So mix it all up really well. Make sure you get that corn syrup and that gelatin to bind it together. You'll see after a little while of mixing that it starts to clump together and congeal. It'll take you about two minutes to mix up the seed properly. When you're finished, it will all be nice and moist and clumped together. Once your bird seed mixture is fully mixed, you move on to the fun part of this project. You will need your cookie sheet, your parchment paper, and a cookie cutter. You can use any cookie cutter that you'd like. I chose a star. It's really large and it makes for a really pretty bird feeder. The next step is packing your cookie cutter full of seed. Pack it down nice and firm so it's really tightly in there. This is a wonderful project that you can do at home with your children. The next thing you'll need to do is poke a hole into your seed mixture so you can hang it later on after it's dried. I'm using a straw, but you can use a chopstick or anything that will poke the hole through. Just make sure it gets through all the way. Next, you'll need to place your cookie cutter on your cookie sheet. After spraying it really well, this mixture should slide out really easily. Let your bird feeder sit for at least six to eight hours. I've let mine set overnight to make sure that it's completely solid. At this point, because you've already made the hole, all you need to do is place a ribbon or a piece of twine through the hole to hang it on a tree. This is a project you can easily do at home or in school with your teacher. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know how to find my favorite book at the library. Well, it sounds like you need the Dewey Kid. All right, it's the Dewey Kid. Yee oh, 
Dewey Kid Rides Again! The library is a big place with lots and lots of books. You know, as big as the library is, it's pretty easy to find a book here, and it's all thanks to something called the Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System is a way books are classified and organized in your local library. It was designed by Melville Dewey, who believed there needed to be an easier way for librarians to organize books. The system divides subjects of books into 10 different classes, from philosophy to science to literature. Those classes are given a number between 000 and 999. More numbers are added with a decimal to divide the classes into specific subdivisions. Finally, the first seven letters of the author's last name are used, and all of that information is added to the spine of a book. This is called a spine label. Once it's ready, the book is placed on the shelf in its designated section of your library. To find the book that was needed, libraries use something called a card catalog with the book title and its Dewey Decimal number on each card. Today, you can use computers to track down books using those same numbers. So the next time you're looking for a book at the library, you can count on the Dewey Decimal System to be a big help. And a big thank you goes to Melville Dewey. You're welcome. Here are some books just for you at Lineball Library. No to Alike by Keith Baker. Follow a pair of birds on a snowflake-filled journey through a gorgeous winter landscape to explore how everything, everywhere is wonderfully unique. From branches and leaves, to forests and trees, to friends and loved ones. Polar Bear Morning by Lauren Thompson. A polar bear cub explores her Arctic world and finds a new friend. Winter Bees and Other Poems of the Cold by Joyce Sidman and Rick Allen. In this outstanding collection of poems, discover how animals stay alive in the winter time and learn about their secret lives happening under the snow. What Can Live in the Snow by John Paul Wilkins. Readers learn about the conditions in cold, snowy habitats and how a wide variety of animals and plants are beautifully adapted to live there. Iditarod by S.L. Hamilton. Learn about the Iditarod Trail and how it's run from the start in Anchorage to the finish line in Nome. Penguin in Love by Selena Yoon. When Penguin finds a lost mitten on the ice one day, he wonders who it belongs to. After all, every mitten has a mate. For this and even more great reading, stop by one of our five locations in Murfreesboro, Eagleville, and Smyrna. But don't forget your library card. You can also visit our website, limeball.org, to find out more information about upcoming events and activities. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.